Do you want to receive amateur radio satellite signals? Do you want to decode weather satellite images? Or do you want to listen to radio signals all over the world? Whether you want to fulfill one aim or more than that, irrespective of the choice you make, you can do all of these activities with the help of one digital device. That is software defined radio SDR. More or less we have knowledge about the SDR, but why should you use a SDR and are there any benefits of using it? To get answers of all of your questions, watch our video till the very end. Hello everyone, this is Oishi, Victor Uni from number 3, Oscar Oscar Sierra and you are watching Oscar India. If you are new in the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. So, let's get started. The very first question is, what is a SDR? SDR stands for software defined radio as we have already known it. In SDR, RF communication is done using software. Therefore, all the processing tasks which are mainly carried out by hardware is done on software. Therefore, mixers, amplifiers, demodulators, modulators, detectors, etc. are instead implemented by means of software in a SDR. Does SDR work similarly like traditional radios? The mode of operation of SDR and traditional radios is different. One works on the hardware and the other one works on software. So if there will be any error that will occur in the hardware, it will be very difficult to remove it. Whereas in case of SDR, it is very flexible and makes it easy to fix any kind of issues because most of its presentation is done on the software. What are the things you can do with a SDR? By the help of a SDR, you can do a variety of things. They are receive satellite signal, receive broadcast radio, learn how the global navigation satellite system work, listen to amateur radio frequency, experiment with LTE, build a DSM network, set up a DRM transmitter, and you can also do radio astronomy. Let's know what are the different types of SDR. SDR can be mainly categorized into two types. One is SDR trans receiver and another one is SDR receiver. SDR trans receiver can do both transmit and receive satellite signals. But SDR receiver is mostly used to receive satellite signals. What are the things you will need to set up a SDR? To set up a SDR, you will basically need three components, SDR, antenna and a computer running SDR software. Yes, you heard it right. You will just need these three components and you can set up your own SDR receiver without the help of any extra device or machine. What are the advantages of using a SDR? The advantages of using a SDR are as follows. One, it is able to reach very high levels of performance and thus open new chances for new experimentation. Two, it can upgrade its performance by updating its software. Three, elimination of analog hardware and costs results into the simplification of radio architecture. These were the advantages, but as we know that every device has some disadvantage too, SDR has also. It can be also termed as its limitation. 1. It will not be able to update all the hardware dependent attributes. 2. Both skill of hardware and software are required for the total development of a SDR. 3. The basic platform may be expensive for very simple radios. The most important question is which SDR software is suitable? Well, there are a lot of options available for SDR software. Here you can see a list of them on the screen. You can pick them according to your choice. Many people out there consider SDR as the ham radio receiver of the 21st century. Do tell us in the comments what are your opinions on this. And current SDR use in amateur radio is typically for the HF bands. And while we are at this, let's mention an extension of SDR, which is CR, Cognitive Radio. 
CR creates new capability provided by uh, SDR and adds an intelligent adaptive nature to operations. So we will meet again on a different video about cognitive radio. And for today, that's all. Do share the video with your friends and family to let them stay updated. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Keep watching Oscar India.